Hello my friends of Hotel Lab, my name is Hormon Toya, welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial will be about open phone model local mesh refinement with uh, Saloma and Python 3. So what are we are going to do in this tutorial? We are going to have local refinements on the mesh uh, based on regions by using Salome and at, on a tetrahedral mesh with Python. Okay, so let's start. So in the end of this tutorial you will have this type of, of meshes. So you have a coarse mesh, then you have a more fine mesh and then a finer mesh inside. Okay? So it seems very optimal if you want to if you know where you want to I mean which which are the areas of your model where you have when you where you want more resolution so and then you can optimize the resources the, the computational power and then you can optimize as well the the simulation time so okay so let's start so here we are in Salome on a new we are on a new um, session so we import a geometry on the description of this video you will you will have a geometry so um, import brep you will receive a folder that is this one where it comes with the txt that is some mesh size file some scripts that are the python code in order that allows you to do this refinement on regions the geometry that is actually the geometry that we are dealing about so this is the geometry this is the geometry well it's a conceptualization of what is a, um, a marine current so actually this is um, an ocean current that is going from here this is the inlet the output and this is an effluent okay so i want to represent the effluent and the impact on the current the the effluent implant on the flow current so actually i need a better discretization here yeah because actually i'm i'm not so interested what uh, what what is going on here or here okay or i have less interest in knowing in knowing what is going on here and here okay so i changed to geo to mesh okay don't worry about if you don't see nothing because you will go to create mesh so we have here then we and then i say moderate okay just the default values are okay and let's see and then right click and compute or you can go to mesh and compute as well it's the same okay so you have cre created a mesh with 1033 tetrahedrons okay so this is our mesh so actually it's mm, quite quite interesting because actually we have refinement here on the effluent and here we have on the on the outside i mean on the border parts of the model we don't have so much much uh, refinement so i think that this is okay but we want more okay so we are going to another mesh but with a mesh size file okay so we create a mesh it will be from this okay and it will be a tetrahedral and then we are going to do this okay here okay this one we actually this i mean if you do if on your mesh size file you state that the minimum f uh, size is 0 0.2 and if it appears here as 0 0.4 actually this one rules the whole mesh refinement so actually you have to set this value 0 0.2 to the minimum value that you want that is on the mesh size file okay i hope that you have understood this okay so we have here i have on the description of this video you will have you will have this original and this is a file for example where here for example i have alignment okay if you go to the model geometry 
you will see that this actually defines a line and this is another line and this is I mean this is the vertex of one uh, edge of the line and this is the vertex of the other edge and you say that in this line alignment it actually is 0 0.2 the the mesh uh, discretization and okay so actually and these are lines that are mm, like far out further from the effluent and this have a bigger discretization okay if you see this you have to insert it by hand so you have to do it one by one and this is because you have stated these are 10 lines and this is zero points if you have point you have to insert every point actually our code do points and then it doesn't do the, the code doesn't do any line okay so this is when you want to stand insert lines okay so back on our project so here is the line okay this is the line okay okay actually don't it won't appear yeah so we say okay and then we compute we go here mesh compute okay so actually we have 2637 tetrahedrons and then if you see we have already like where where the lines are we have a bigger disc a smaller discretization yeah um, and that's that's great yeah but I want more I like want to to define regions and I, and I do not want to define one point uh, one, the points one by one yeah I want to say okay I want a discretization in this area okay so give me the discretization okay so what I have done I have done some Python codes so remember if you have any problem with dealing with the data think on using a, a think on um, using um, a programming language because actually it will make your life much easier okay so here I have two lines no two two codes the first one is if you want to do just one stage okay so these are how the um, I mean this will be particular for your project but this is how the um, how the the model is um, is up the uh, how the refine the refinement is done okay so this is the cell size I mean the, the size of the refinement this is the x initial and the xy the g j initial the g and the z initial the z n okay so you have here the four um, borders of an um, this is the four no the six borders of a volume of a um, cube that defines the um, the region where the refinement will be uh, will we apply okay then we do some uh, then we do some I mean based on this and based on the discretization we define the number of cells and the array of cells that will define the the refinement okay and then we write it on the we write on the MSC MS MS set file okay okay those are the function definition this is the application of the function definition and then we close the file because actually otherwise it will remain open okay here we open the file and here we close the file so what it what it will do it will do is actually will delete this and I will delete this as well yep and here I run this, 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 I run this and it appears all the vertices that will be inserted on the file as point of uh, discretization okay and then we run this and then we close and then here you have done this refinement stroke first stage and here this is a file and look you have inserted 1,076 points for refinement and this is a lot but this is as well the the number of points that you need to 
that you need uh, but this is the the required number of points that you need to define the process that you are going to simulate okay so this is actually i mean you are dealing with lot of points but these points are needed if you want to have a an adequate resolution of your problem okay yeah because if you have lower points you won't have enough resolution and then if you have bigger points i mean like you are dealing with much refination like with a cell size of 0.1 and so you will have maybe you will have many many tetrahedrals on your mesh and this is up to the model ex experience to define how many tetrahedrals you will deal with okay this is just on the experience and just on the purpose of the of the of the modeling of the modeling itself okay and actually not i mean not every model have the same criteria okay cool so we here we have 1000 okay and the model is i mean the work is pretty simply so you don't have any like trouble with dealing with thousands of points and as well salome do not have that problem either so this is great because once again we are going to create another mesh this is a mesh it will be tetrahedral it will be this and here is the netgene 3d parameters this is 0 0.2 yep and here we import this 1000 points mesh side file okay we do apply and close and here I do right click and compute and look we are dealing with 7000 tetrahedrals okay okay and here we have do you see here you have this region where the mesh is actually 0 0.4 yeah okay so and then you have a bigger area and okay I have to tell you that Salome can associate one phase to a discretization one edge to discretization but actually you here on the model you can is is easier i mean with this approach to define one area without like setting up one phase here or something like that okay you define here one area and that's it yeah with the code okay what else i can do i can do this as well so here i have this okay so i will create i will create a second i mean a two stages refinement so i have here the bigger refinement and here the smaller refinement here so here i have another one that is two stage refinement okay i will it will create this one okay run run this is the first refinement and this is the second refinement if you see this volume is smaller and the cell size is smaller because actually you go from coarser to finer okay okay this is the point data is there are, there are the same functions but here is um, when I wrote this code I I wanted that uh, you can do multiple refinements so actually if you want to do a third refinement you have to insert one cell here and then you have to sort out what is here but actually you can do 10 levels of refinement i mean it's just that you understand this code and define the your own your own um, approach mm -hmm. okay so i run this as well and then i close the file and then and i end up with a file of 1944 points so this is a lot of points but actually you don't have to worry about that okay cool and then with this i go here mesh create mesh this will be from this this will be tetrahedral this will be this and from here parameters this will be 0 0.2 okay and then here I pick up the second stage nothing else apply and close 
and then here I put compute ok and then I end up with 10,000 tetraedrons close and here if you see I have here a smaller refinement and I have here a bigger refinement ok so and this approach I think is right so I, I get the refinement I want to simulate what I want to simulate ok well I have done the model yeah, and I will share with you let me let me see if I can share with you uh, I have done the model and then have an animation and then you will see how the refinement is dealing with I mean or where we will see that the refinement that I have done actually allows to represent this the discharge of the effluent with high res with a adequate resolution okay so we have we okay here okay look this is look the resolution here is where your this is the final refinement this is the second refinement and here this is the coarse refinement but actually you don't have such much uh, changes here and and the model as well reaches a steady state well i have to, i have to 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 talk about this so on so actually the refinement should be from here to here and from here to here okay uh, you can insert more more uh, more stages uh, more um, refinement steps and so on. but the approach is, is is great i mean here is i mean the dynamic of the effluent looks pretty uh, looks pretty good actually it fulfills the intention of the model exercise okay so great thank you for following us thank you for following Hatari Labs what is Hatari Labs? Hatari Labs is a website yeah, dedicated to the no, um, open source to the share knowledge sharing in open source software in modeling and data analysis okay so here we have a blog we have a facebook account a twitter account a newsletter uh, we have some online course if you might um, want to do some online training in open source software and then we have a lot of posts um, mostly in hydrogeology hydrology mod flow gis and open form if we reach a more open form tutorial we will have a channel also in open form okay great so thank you for following us if you like this video and then if you keep want to keep updated with the videos that we do please uh, stay uh, subscribe to this youtube channel as well okay <coughs> my name is Arumantoya, and please have a great day see you in coming tutorials bye bye bye